Back in 1897, Dracula and his friends travel in disguise on a train to Budapest. Dracula's arch-nemesis, Professor Abraham Van Helsing boards the train and unveils the monsters. The monsters escape by climbing through the roof, and Dracula pushes his friends off the train for their safety. Van Helsing becomes obsessed with destroying Dracula, but is constantly outsmarted by him. In the present day, Dracula is running his hotel business smoothly with Mavis and Johnny. Drac is depressed that he has remained single since his wife Martha's death, despite his attempts to meet someone. Interpret falsely this as stress from overwork. Mavis books a cruise so they can all take a break and spend more time together as a family. Dracula, Johnny, Mavis, Dennis, Vlad, and the hotel guests board a cruise ship called Legacy. Drac sees the ship's human captain, Erica, and falls in love with her at first sight, something that he thought was impossible as he had already zinged before. Erica afterwards goes to a private and secret room on the lower decks where she meets up with Abraham Van Helsing, secretly her great-grandfather. Van Helsing has almost entirely mechanized his body to avoid death and has a plan to eliminate all the monsters. On the cruise's arrival at the lost city of Atlantis, he will use an instrument of destruction in Atlantis' ruins. Van Helsing makes Erica promise to not assassinate Dracula beforehand, but she makes repeated unsuccessful attempts to do so anyway. Drac's friends hear Erica complain about her inability to get him and misinterpret this as a sign of affection. Drac nervously asks Erica out on a date, and she accepts since she sees this as another opportunity to kill him. As they dine on a deserted island, Erica unexpectedly begins to fall in love with Drac. After they learn about each other's pasts where they lost their loved ones, for Dracula, it was his beloved wife Martha, and for Erica, it was her parents. Mavis discovers her father is interested in Erica and becomes suspicious of Erica's motives. The cruise ship reaches Atlantis, which has been converted into a casino. Drac decides to tell Mavis the truth about Erica but gets distracted seeing Erica enter an underground crypt. Drac follows her, with Mavis not far behind, and learns that Erica is after a family heirloom. With Dracula's help, she evades the booby traps around the object and escapes. Mavis arrives and confronts them, and Dracula confesses that he is zinged with Erica, to Mavis' surprise and confusion. After Erica is told what a zing is, her inner guilt about lying to Drac forces her to reject his feelings for her, leaving Drac heartbroken and Mavis feeling guilty. A regretful Erica gives Van Helsing the instrument of destruction and he sets a trap for the monsters at a dance party. Noticing that Drac is still depressed about Erica, Mavis takes advice from Johnny and tells her father to talk to Erica, admitting that she was afraid of him leaving her, which allays Drac's fears. Van Helsing shows up and pushes away the DJ and a saddened Erica is forced to reveal that she is his great-granddaughter. Van Helsing unveils the instrument of destruction, a case for a music note sheet, and plays a song that drives a friendly kraken living near the island to attack the monsters. Drac tries to stop the evil kraken, but gets injured. Erica saves Drac from the evil kraken and pleads with her great-grandfather to stop the destruction, confessing her love for Drac. This infuriates Van Helsing and he attacks them both. To pacify the evil kraken, Johnny opens up a portable DJ kit and plays positive songs to beat Van Helsing's song. Upon playing the Macarena, the kraken is relaxed and happy for good. Van Helsing is unable to counter the song as the humans and monsters begins to dance, including the music sheet. When Van Helsing also dances, he accidentally slips and falls, but Drac saves him. Touched by the act of kindness, Van Helsing apologizes to the monsters and gives everybody a full refund for the cruise, before sending them back. Back at the hotel, Drac proposes to Erica, who gets tongue-tied at the question before accepting.